Hey everybody, if you can't tell by the center of your server and the mayhem that is ensuing, the transform event has finally arrived. For many of us, it's been over a year. For a lot of us, it's been less, but you've been doing so without Optimus. So this event will, or this video will hopefully help clarify what's going on as of right now. And there will be subsequent videos following as the other parts of this event are released. So the first thing I want to do is jump into the themed event. So the themed event is the Monopoly event, and how it works is you have your daily your daily tasks that you normally have to do for almost any event. Once you complete your daily tasks, you will unlock your tiered rewards. I always suggest clicking up here in the right and doing the extra rewards there. You can then take those rewards and use them on other events. So one of the events is the Monopoly board. So for the Monopoly board, you just spin your dice, you use one of the gears, and you get the reward based on that. Um, there's no speed up, so that kind of stinks, but I wish there was kind of a fast walk type of thing. Um, some things to note on the Monopoly board are these scares, these tiles right over here. These tiles actually give you a greater reward, and that dice is really annoying where it's located because it's not allowing me to click that. And there's shards there. So these three rewards are actually higher. So this reward's 20, you'll see. And if we click over here, this reward is four. So not all the tiles are created equally. And you do have your um, random event things, which are usually free dice spin, free rewards, um, go back three spaces, or double, triple your next square you land on. So um, there's that. Up in the goals, you have your goals. Uh, make sure you tap on at least one square one time, because that is one of the rewards. Once you hit 20 of your goals, so you've hit claim 20 times, you can get these rewards, which is the Shardicon, Disaster Falls, March Q, it, two of the Don Chess, which can give you up to 100 Transformer emblems, which can be used in a store, the Lucky Gem Bag, and the Shining Gold Chest. So these, um, these are the emblems, and these are the rewards you can get from it. Uh, the Nemesis base is very good. It's very comparable to the uh, Volcano skin. So if you guys are using that, um, this is very comparable to that. Uh, Arc skin skill is absolutely amazing. Whether you want to use the base itself or not, the skill is worth getting it. There's the universal uh, skin choice chest, and then there's many, many other rewards. Um, something I, always, I want to start pointing out is this level 3 rare skill chest. There's 30 of them for only 30 rewards. So if you get to it, definitely worth grabbing that um but that's kind of the rewards uh cybertron box so as you get these discs you can unlock random um decor these decor are going to be improved on the 19th so i definitely would wait to use any of these discs until then for the simple fact that they are going to be adding three new figures here so if you want the figures that are here already go ahead um you can see the odds oops sorry the odds right here of which ones you can get for what but there will be three more adding and they actually looks like they added in that you can get a level two or level three decor with this this time around so something to keep in mind that you might just get a level two or three to begin with um but it's going to be very rare as you can see 0.3 percent was not anything to write home about the last things are in here are the optimus prime hero pack so you can straight up buy optimus or you can buy his skill as with any hero release then the lucky treasury i'm not going to use any lucky treasury here because i've already unlocked the optimus and it's not worth anything but this is the cheapest way to get optimus and you can get them for free usually costs about 3300 gems because you need 10 shards so and then every 10 or every nine spins you get an automatic shard so something to keep in mind there uh the next part of the event is the st stages so right now we're in stage one stage two stage three and stage four are unlocked for say, but they're not actually active. So it definitely looks like they kind of miscoded something and we we're able to click on the events, even though they're not open quite yet. But stage one, you are helping the Transformers defend against the Shardicons. So how it works is you can click go, you can scroll to just north of your capital and find your four Transformers here and you click march forward so what you want to pay attention to is the shardicons engaged and the energy consumption shardicons engaged means that's how many shardicons that transformer is fighting currently and the energy consumption is 
how much health they're losing. The rewards for this event are you get rewards for marching on them. So you get rewards for coming in here and you'll see I got 10 shark teeth, which can be used in a store later on. So that'll be stage two, I believe, where that was. And then some other junk chests that we don't ever need, but they keep giving to us. Um, the other rewards are if you hit the bottom view rewards, you'll see if the H HP of all your transformers together is over 50,000, you'll get the top reward under 50, but over 30, you'll get the second reward and over 20 under 30, you'll get the bottom reward. So, um, you definitely want to keep that them engaged cause you want to keep that energy consumption below zero. Um, you don't need to spam it. They don't seem to be coming that fast, but you'll see the red lines show when more Shardicons are coming. And you'll see right here, there's Shardicon reinforcements. Once that hits, the numbers of the Shardicons will go up. The other things I wanted to mention is to pay attention to this little privilege thing. That will unlock you extra rewards. And as you um, get... Eh, sorry. As you get your rewards, they will come... And this is just going to bring us to... Yeah, it doesn't bring us anywhere useful. Uh, as you get your rewards, they will unlock extra bonus things. Um, definitely worth it, being that some of these things are worth what that was. So um, other than that, there's not a lot going on. Like I said, as these other stages open up and they actually make it so we can see what's going on, I will definitely make another video, whether it's a two minute video or 10 minute video, depending on what it's needed. But with that, I hope you all remember to like and subscribe if you enjoy the content. Have a wonderful day or night and see ya.